hubby and best friend. Together we have four boys, including two teenagers, a toddler, and an infant. Our lives have been difficult from the get-go from facing teen parenting to getting married at 18, but we are proud to say that we beat the odds that were stacked against us. It wasn't ever easy, but 16 years later, our marriage is the best it's ever been. Follow me on this journey as I share with you the ups and downs of my life as a mommy and a wife. So we are going to talk about reflux. I did a couple other videos on reflux. Um, my youngest son suffers from a pretty severe case of reflux. He is um, vomiting all of the time. He cannot drink a bottle without it shooting right back up. And it's irritating to them because the acid burns their esophagus as it comes up and it's just very uncomfortable for them. So I am going to give you all of the different things that you can try in order to help soothe your child's discomfort and help them keep that formula down. Um, the, when you go see your physician about reflex, they are going to want to try a couple medications if the reflex is causing issues. So um, their main concern is going to be that they are gaining weight. If they're gaining weight, then they're not too concerned about the formula coming back up. However, the physician is concerned about the pain and discomfort. Obviously, they want to try to help your baby feel comfortable and be in as little as pain as possible. So I've gotten second opinions and we've seen three different doctors about our child's reflux because it's so severe. And um, all the doctors said pretty much the same things. So first they put him on this very disgusting medication. I'm going to go ahead and write below because I know I will butcher the names of these medications. But this one, um, it just smells terrible. Oh, tastes terrible. I mean, it, it really smells like a bottle of whiskey. Like, it's just, mm, no, too much for them. So he would automatically start gagging, and it would just come right back up every time we tried to give it to him, and it just did not work out. So as soon as um, we let our doctor know this was not working, and I'm telling you, we even put it in a bottle and everything, everything they suggested, the taste just overpowers anything else. And I just, I think it's pure torture. So we went ahead and moved on from that fairly quickly. Um, so then they gave us another medicine and this one is a strawberry flavor. It is perfectly fine for them. They tend to like the taste of it. And um, it's kind of like the consistency of like a pepto -bismol. So I think it helps coat the stomach and I will go ahead and post this name below of this medication. This did soothe our son for a while, um, for short periods of time, like maybe three hours at a time. And um, he stayed on this medicine for quite a while. The doctors pushed the uh, rice cereal fairly quickly with us. However, I did not want to introduce rice cereal to my child until he was at least four months old. Uh, reason being, this isn't my first rodeo. I have four kids and my other ones did get pretty severely constipated with rice cereal and I did not want to introduce another issue when he was already struggling. So I went ahead and just tried all other things until he got to an age that I was comfortable with introducing the rice cereal. So around four months, um, nothing was working. 
even this medication stopped giving him any relief. So we went ahead and started slowly introducing this rice cereal. Um, so the rice cereal, you can get all different brands. This is a Walmart off-brand. And started putting like a tablespoon at a time. Um, right now, he is almost six months old. And we are up to the formula scooper. We do two scoops of formula. Uh, the second scoop, I do like a heaping scoop. Uh, five ounces of warm water and two and a half to three scoops of the rice cereal cereal and we do just the same um, scooper for the formula for the cereal so I usually put this in a Tupperware container and that way I can just take the formula scooper and dip it into the cereal so he's on five ounces right now and it thickens it perfectly and I will go ahead and show you the kind of nipples you need to buy, the cross cut nipples which help um, because otherwise the, the liquid is not going to come out with a regular nipple. Um, with the rice cereal that we saw the most improvement, however it's still pretty severe. He still vomits a lot, but there was improvement and it did weigh, what it does is it weighs the food down in their belly so it doesn't shoot up so much. The thinner the liquid, the more it's going to shoot up. So yeah, it, it does work and um, I can't say it fixed the problem because he is about six months old and still struggling. Um, another thing, you can ask your doctor about the Similac for spit up. Okay, and a lot of times they will have samples for you to try. And this is a formula with added rice cereal into it. And it's just a tiny amount, so if your baby is, you know, really young and you do not want to um, add too much rice cereal and you want to try this first, by all means go for it. Um, it may or may not work. For us, it did not work. Um, we thought it was working the first couple days and then actually kind of got a little bit worse. But everyone is different. I've heard of mothers who have said this worked great. And honestly, I would try this first before you start adding a lot of rice cereal because like I said, you do have the risk of constipation if your baby's feedings are thickened too much. Um, you also want to watch for citrusy uh, juices and things like that when you're able to introduce those. You do not want to give them that citrus. It's going to cause the acid to burn their esophagus even more. So just be careful of the types of foods that you choose. And they say they will grow out of it. And I'm just waiting for that day because it is miserable for him. So uh, my little one is knocking at the door. He's doing yard work with daddy. And I think he got me a flower. So. Let me grab that real quick. I don't want to ignore him too long. You want to elevate your baby's head. So you do not want them to lay completely flat. You want to do what you can to keep them elevated so that when they it does shoot up, they don't choke and it also just helps keep the liquid down rather than um, like if you're laying flat on your back it's going to make it easier for it to shoot up from the stomach and cause them to vomit. So just try to elevate their head as much as possible when you're feeding them, holding them after and so forth. And lastly you will also want to try to keep them very still after they eat. Um, if you pick them up and move them around too much, they are going to shoot up that feeding fairly quickly. You want to do everything you can to help your little one 
um, not suffer so much. I mean, they just came into this world and to already be suffering with this horrible irritation of acid reflux, it's miserable for them and it's miserable for you to watch it. So do everything you can. So you just gotta get them through this horrible phase that they have. All right, so thank you guys. And I hope this helped. Bye.